How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and welcome to my V-Star Universe opening. It's finally here, I finally got this in time, which is nice. Uh, I only had to wait like, what was it, like five days, which is incredibly fast, for something um, shipped from Japan all the way over here to Germany. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this box. I, I cannot wait, I'm so excited for, for this... Um, for this set right here. I've also got sleeves prepared for once, which I sometimes forget, but we're gonna rip into this. 10 booster packs. We do have a chance to get a god pick. I would like to keep the, the box in good shape, so get this out without damaging it. And here we are. It's finally here. Released on the on December 2nd, if I rec recall correctly, in Japan. Now we have it in hand. Um, supposedly, uh, the pull rates haven't been officially revealed, but I think we can expect, uh, similar to what, what VMAX Climax said, um, one, um, what, what is it called? Secret art rare, and then about three art rares, and there is also the chance to get an additional secret rare on top of that, you know, the, the secret art rare would be your character secret rare if we're talking about, about VMAX Climax. Here we go, we have a triple rare, which is the Mewtwo V-Star, off to a great scar, we have the, the, by B barrel. I wanna say that's, that's the, the Yancey, the Yancey? Well, that might be the, the champion from that, from that generation. We have a Paris. Starting it off strong with a Mewtwo V-Star. Gonna try to sleeve these up. And I think we're gonna be pulling so much, so I'm actually gonna put the, the hollows aside. And just hold on to, to this for now. I also did a video, or a, a shorts, I should say, um, about like 10, my 10 most wanted pulls from the set, so I hope we can pull at least one of those in in this um, in this opening. Still have two boxes left, which I'll probably be opening um, next week, so stay tuned for that. We have an Anamorous V, and we have a Professor's Research. Nice. And a Luna Stone, I want to say? Or, yeah, it must be Lunastone, because the other one is Soul Rock. Okay, oh, I, I did put the, the rares over there again. So, I think the most, my most wanted card is either the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, Friends in Sinnoh, or Friends in, in Hisui. Those are really cool. Those are really, really cool, but there are so many, like, for someone in me, that I, I love to collect full art trainers, so we got a Machamp VMAX, very nice. An Absol, and a Torterra, and a Dark Patch. A Dark Patch to top it off. Oh, actually, I just realized we pulled two Dark Patches here, a Reverse and a Normal one. Let me just take a moment here and show off the Reverse. Has this, like, really subtle effect, but it looks really, really nice. Okay, moving it on. Three booster packs down, seven to go. There's also the chances for god packs, similar to the to the other high class sets. And I think, if I remember correctly, there is a special art rare collection, if you will, of like consisting of nine cards. Speaking of art rares, here's our first one. Is that oh that must be the Mac Mortar. Okay, this is the Mac Mortar art rare. And this is the secret art rare! Yo, the Dark Cry V-Star! Lucario Hollow and a Galarian Articuno. While I sort this, let me just grab two sleeves. Show off the Mac Mortar. Real up close. That looks really nice. Really hoping for the Mew. The Mew, that's like my number one art rare that I want to pull, of course. Being a Mew fan. Oh god, I forgot to sleeve these up. Grab a sleeve for this one. And, oh dear god, there goes piece of tin. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try to zoom in on the phone, so we can get a good look at this. Yo, that's amazing looking. Pani Kobayashi. I haven't, haven't seen this artist before. Maybe that's a new artist? I'm not sure. But that's an amazing illustration. Yo, that's a really good secret or secret art rare, yeah. It's not so weird saying that after, like, character secret rare. Let me just get rid of the box right here so we have a bit more space. Nice, that's a really cool one. So there is still the chance that we get an additional secret rare. 
like similar to VMAX climates, which I'm hoping for. There's also secret rare energies, you know, every single energy other than fairy, of course. So that would also be cool to pull all of those or to have like all of those. Friends in Hizui, really hoping for this one. If not in this card or in this box, then maybe in another one, but here we go. Galarian Zapdos chasing a either a Doduo or Dodrio, it looks like. Yo, I like the psychedelic artwork. Or a Zoro or a Zoro arc. And the two birds. The two birds. Just sleeve the Zoro arc up right here. I'll put it right here. And show off the Zapdos. I love these artworks. And I can, I know like right now they're kind of expensive, especially the ones that you can only pull out of a god pack. Once like the prices settle down and more product becomes available, we've already seen, like we're already seeing prices go down for, for singles as well as booster boxes. But booster box is still kind of expensive right now, so I'd hold off. But I can tell you the, the artwares are probably going to be pretty cheap. After a while, there's the Sinnoh friends. Both just teasing me. A Hatterin, I want to say. Hatterin V. Oh, cool! A Mew! Yo! You can chill out here with the big boys. A Moltres and a Regirock. Mew. This is the Mew that was printed in the, um... In the, whatchamacallit, the Celebration set, or the, yeah. Celebrations and Japanese Celebrations 25th Anniversary, respectively. This goes here. The Mew can chill here with the big boys like the Mew. This is a really cool card. Really, really cool illustration as well. We should still get, I do, I think we should still get one more art rare at the very least. Once again, hoping for, for another um, secret rare, but you never know. So far, it's still nice. That's a really cool illustration. I really like that one. We have Roxanne. Trekking boots. A Charizard V-Star. Yo! That's really nice. You can go right here. A Gengar. And a Basque Legion. And a Regilecki. Nice, we got the Charizard V-Star. Yeah, there's like so many, um, so many reprints in this set too. Like for the, for the Japanese market specifically. But once this set makes, make it to, to, um, to English in, uh, Crown Zenith, it's not gonna be 100%. There are probably gonna be car a few cards missing. And they're gonna be like, spread out throughout these sets of, uh, like 2022. Three, 2023. It's almost the next year. Then we have a Soul Rock. We have Gardenia. Let's see. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, here is our third art rare. And what a card it is! The Deoxys art rare. Holy, this artwork goes hard. Got a Garchomp, a Miltank, and another Deoxys. That artwork also looks pretty cool. Look at this one. Very cool. Let me get, get the Garchomp sleeved up. And then take a look at the Deoxys. Holy moly, that looks sweet. That's such a sweet illustration. Scaf, okay. I think I've seen a few of, of, um, of their illustrations. They're usually really, really cool. So we've got two packs left. Two more chances for an additional secret rare. But I cannot complain. Well, actually, I can complain a little bit, but only because we didn't get the, um, the Mew art rare that I was, I was chasing. But hey, I still got two chances left with the other two boxes. I'm gonna be opening next week. Ryan. Get a Spirit Tomb. A, a, um, Origin Form Dialga V-Star. I haven't seen this illustration before. Maybe that was in, uh, what was it, Starbirth? Or, oh, there's no secret where energy! Secret rare metal energy, so we did get an additional secret rare in the end. Nice. Oh yeah, that must be in uh, what was it? I can't remember. It wasn't wasn't no, it wasn't Starbirth because that was the one with Arceus. Uh, Time Gazer, I think was the Japanese set. That's a really cool illustration too. And here we go, an additional secret rare, which is the metal energy. There is the the energies like for all the energies there are secret rares which you can pull. And check this out. It actually reflects. I think you can see that in a recording as well. Metal energies, and then if you flip it in the in the other spot, it's like Pokeballs. That's that's really really nice. I wonder how much the others are because I would love a a full set of those. You can chill right here. 
One pack left. I don't think we're gonna get a, a god pack. But you never know. Actually, I don't know. If you pull your secret rare, can you still get a god pack? I would say no. Like, I'm inclined to say no. But, okay. Not a god pack. But we can still pull something cool nonetheless. So let's see what we can get here. Luna Stone. Got a Hyper Ball. We've got a Zora Aura. Right here. A... Oh, I want to say Forest Tablet or something. I think we pulled this in our last opening too. And a Radiant Eternatus. Oh man. I forgot about the Radiant cards in this. I forgot about the Radiant cards. I wasn't expecting that at all. But now, now it's coming back to me. There is a Radiant Charizard that you can pull as well. Which the illustration looks absolutely lovely. For that Charizard. Let me show off the Eternatus. Look at the Radiant cards. Like the Japanese Radiant cards. They look so much better than the English ones in my opinion. Okay, so here's like some of my favorite pulls that we have, that we have in this opening. Of course, our secret art we are the Darkrai. What a sick illustration, like holy moly. We have the secret wear Metal Energy. Of course, all the artwares with Deoxys, um, Galarian Zapdos, and McMortar, of course. And then right here, the Radiant Eternatus, and the three V-Stars we've pulled with, with Mewtwo, and then Charizard, and Origin Form Dialga. That was really cool. I hope you enjoyed this opening. If you did, a like and a sub would be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.